Hello, I'm Paul Hafner, Application Equipment Product Specialist. I'm going to take you through the drive system controls on a Rogator C-Series. So, for the controls inside the cab, we have the hand throttle, the joystick with the trigger to activate the drive system. We have our Cruise 1, Cruise 2. Over here on the side, the orange switches are for the drive system. We have our increase and decrease for the cruise control. We have our TMS on off, our field and road switch, as well as the parking brake. So to engage the drive system, first we will turn off the parking brake. We'll turn on TMS for the engine control. And then on the joystick, We'll depress the trigger and then move the handle in the direction that you wish to travel. So we'll move it forward. As soon as the transmission is engaged, the machine starts to move. We can release the trigger and then to speed up, simply pushing the handle ahead. To slow down, you'll pull the machine or the handle back to slow the machine down. Once the machine is stopped, if you want to change directions, depress the trigger pull back into reverse. Once it's engaged in reverse, you pull back to accelerate and reverse. You push forward to slow the machine down. Another way that you can change directions is using the shuttle shift. So if I'm in forward travel and I want to use the shuttle shift, we turn the handle back to the neutral position, depress the trigger, slide the handle to the left, and then release the trigger and bring the handle back. The machine will slow down, change directions, and start backing up. It will go to whatever speed that we have programmed in for the shuttle shift. After it's backed up far enough, depress the trigger, slide it to the left again, and then it will slow down in reverse, switch you back to forward, and take you up to your desired speed. We'll now go over some of the drive system settings that are going to be found in the ACU terminal. In the upper right hand corner of the ACU terminal, you will see that we have a field icon as well as Cruise 1 and Cruise 2. The field icon and the cruise will change when I go into road mode. So now the icon has changed to the road symbol. You know I'm in road mode so that's disabled the hydraulics and then it allows me to travel up to 36 miles an hour in this 1300. If I go back to field mode, see the field icon came back in and the cruise numbers have changed. So you have one set of cruise for field, one set of cruise for road. To adjust the cruise speeds, you can touch in the box, enter the speed that you want it to be and then once you depress the cruise 1 cruise 2 switch on the hydro handle while you're moving that box will turn green letting you know that it's active to get to some of the other dry system settings we'll touch on the rogator in the upper right hand corner it takes it to half screen and here's where we'll have our shuttle shift speeds so just like setting a cruise to change the speed we'll touch in the box enter the new speed. So now I have two miles an hour in reverse. Another setting that you want to check, we'll cut the house and the wrench. And here's our TMS setting. For rogators, the minimum TS, TMS that we want would be 1680. And so with the TMS on, the engine will operate between 1680 and wide open while it's in field mode. In road mode, it will automatically be 1000 RPM will be the minimum. Another setting for the drive system would be the sensitivity settings for each of the functions. So we will hit the plus and minus. And here we'll have sensitivity settings for pushing the handle forward, pulling it back for reverse and braking. We we'll also have it for the cruise controls as well as the shuttle shift. The factory default is three for each one of these. If you'd like to make it a little less aggressive, 
So on the reverse, we'll just touch the minus, and it changes the aggressiveness factor for when I pull the handle into reverse. So you can use these to tune the machine, tune the drive system to your liking.